Hello everyone and welcome to the May Plan With Me, which is happening closer to June than it is the beginning of May. Wow. I'm not going to lie to you. I've been in Florida majority of May. So we are going to salvage what is left of the month in hopes that it will still look pretty productive. I will say that I have enjoyed my new title while I was at home. I am now the auntie and maybe that's just a family thing or a cultural thing, but the closest aunt to you doesn't need a name. It doesn't need to be like Aunt Susan, Aunt Jackie. It's like, no, that's my auntie. And every other one of the other aunts can fall in line after that. You know what I mean? Maybe that's favoritism. I don't mind. Enough of my life lately. Catch up. We've already been down that road. We're back in the planner. So I am going to go ahead and take out these dividers, take out these inserts, take out the things that have been aggravating my soul and disrupting my spirit. Spirit. I'm also making a list on the side of the things that I want to restock so I will show you that a little bit later. Gold clip that you're currently seeing on the screen that comes with my Sesa V orders. Someone who orders from Sesa V outside of holidays and specials, please let me know if it comes with every order. I just so happen to restock my Sesa V stuff around the holidays. Okay, you're not here for all of this. Let me pick up the pace, play some music, and I'll be back when I'm jumping into my overview for the month of May and how we're gonna salvage it. progress is being made for my planner restock list I don't have a long list right now I just want more task planner inserts those are the ones that I use for my list section mostly I also want more task notepads it's the same notepad that I'm writing on in this video I also want more sticky notes and I do want to replace my dashboard that's in the front of my planner since it got ruined by the dashboard that is underneath the dashboard that's in the front of my planner. I mean, really, why? So hopefully it's in the last chance section on Cloth and Paper's website. My fingers are crossed, I'm holding my breath, my toes are crossed, I hope it's there because I really do like that one. And that's all I have for my restock list so far. I also want to update my review sticky notes for each book that I've read. I think I'm going to take them out of my planner after each quarter, maybe even each month, and place them within each book so that if someone comes over and skims through the book, they have like a mini review and a rating. I think that would be kind of cool. So now it's time to jump into May and what the overview for the goals will be. And I will say that these will trickle on over into June because I mean, realistically, we're down to the home stretch of May. It's just not realistic for me to think that all of these will be checked off, but I can at least hope for the best. And whatever I don't accomplish, of course, we migrate to the next month. Simple. This alone should tell you how long it's been since I've actively been in my planner. I forgot to do my habit tracker. So this is going to be the only one for the month of May. Not ashamed. Not ashamed. We're going to have YouTube posting, which we, kn we already know. We already know. You can give me the side eye. It's fine. Language, cleaning, workout, and no spend. Because I am at home currently uh, working remotely, I have realized that I do a lot more no spend days and I'm happy about that. And for my workouts, um... <laughs> I need to incorporate more walks since I just, I'm okay with being at home. I already have it in my mind now that the Memorial Day weekend is going to be a very productive one for me, which will in turn be very fulfilling 
because I know that I haven't been doing all the things that I set out to do. And it's not to say that a full day of binge watching your favorite shows is not necessary. It's not to say that making your favorite ice cream or pound cake, which I've been doing, is not necessary. Having a picnic or drinking your champagne or your mimosas is not a fulfilling weekend. But for me, since I've been doing quite a bit of all of those things, it's time for me to reel it in. Like I'm doing too much and not enough all at the same time. For my goals overview, the emotional and spiritual section, I will have updating my gratitude log, which I am going to spend like 20 to maybe 45 minutes of just updating it because it's that far behind. You guys know that. My citizenship completion, I am hoping that I get to check this off by the end of the month. I want to be able to share my experience uh, with my fellow Jamaicans in case they encounter any hiccups that I thought never in a million years would be my issue because I had everything. But anyway, that's something I'm hoping I get to really check off for the month of May. In the intellectual and occupational section, three levels of Spanish and Mandarin. This is something that I'm going to do probably the last Sunday of the month where I can really just sit down and spend time with the language. And then from there, every day spend time fully immersed in the language. For the physical, I need to check on my OTF classes. I'm under the impression that I'll only have three in the books. It cycles every month. So mine resets on the 13th of every month. LA Fitness visits, uh, we can aim for like three or four. I don't know if six is gonna happen, but six is on my list. Environmental, office declutter, bathroom declutter, I'm going to check for any expired products or anything. I'm going through my office because I do want another bookcase. It's like a four cube organizer situation that matches my other bookshelf. For financial, 10 no spends, hopefully. And the savings challenge update. I need to really take a look at that. My monthly overview at some point, I need to get back into my finance section and be serious about it. Socially, this is where I put my YouTube and my TikTok video uploads. And I do want six videos posted on YouTube. It sounds crazy when you're watching this and looking at the date, like, so come on now, six videos. Watch me work, watch me work. 12 TikTok videos is way easier. Majority of them have been book related videos this month anyway, so that's fine. And on to the intentions. I intend to embrace change. I intend to get more sleep. I intend to spend time with family. I intend to be focused. I intend to do better. For the books, I've completed Restore Me crazy. Long shot, currently reading. Luca, you're up next. Untouchable was good. Very <laughs> outrageous, but good. Uh, and home going. Why do I have homecoming? Why? It's home going. I'll fix it. Thank you so much for watching. I feel like I have figured out what my schedule will be. So I'll be testing that out and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.